Hey, bro. Hey, brother. Get in the truck right there. Do you know who you are according to the Bible, sir? Do you know your nationality according to God? What race of people you descend from in the Bible? You are an Israelite according to the Bible. You got to repeat and keep God's laws, brother. That's right. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5, man. Because people been out here screaming at the prophet, talking about they got certain knowledge, and, and, and they puffing up against the men of God. We are the watchmen, sister. We are the watchmen, sister. And without me, you wouldn't be here. Sister, sister, the man, the man came first, sister. You come from the man. That's what's backwards. Matter of fact, give me Isaiah chapter 29, verse 15. God is a whole Isaiah Exodus, 15, Exodus 15. Let's see. Let's see if God is just the Spirit. Bring it Let's see if God is just the Spirit, sister. The Spirit. At, okay, sister, at the end of the day, you gotta humble down to the black man. That's because we know we your Lord. At the end of the day, that's right. At the end of the day, we your Lord. Christ is our head, and the black and the black Hispanic so-called Native American man is your head, sis. That's right. Read what you got. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 15 and verse 3. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is a man of war, sister. Right. He is not just a spirit. He is a man. That's, That's why right. he created man in his likeness to take dominion in this earth. And you will not run this, these men in the purple, because we were storing water back in the earth. That's what going to happen, sis. Whether you like it or not. How you doing, sister? It's good to see you on this Sabbath day. Do you know your nationality according to God, sis? That's what you're here to ask. Because you, you, I'm pretty sure you've been in a uh, Christianity church all your life. The Baptist church, probably. What they, what they tell you, you a child of God, you black, you African American, but you never read African American or black in the Bible. That's right. So we're about to go into the scriptures and show you who you are, who God say you are. Bring it out, huh? Bring it out. Give me uh, Deuteronomy chapter 28. These are the signs of the times to see who the children of Israel are. Because God said their nationality will be taken from them because they broke his commandments. So we're going to go in the Bible and get these context clues to show you who you are according to God. Bring it out. Bring it out. Read what you got. Uh, yes, sir. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe to do all his commandments, and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Read again. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God. So God, God is sending a message out to the children of Israel. He said, you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, if you don't hear, if you don't listen to what God is telling us, what's gonna happen to our people as a whole? to observe, to do all his commandments and, I, and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Hey sister, God said curses was going to happen to the children of Israel if they didn't keep his commandments. Are curses good or bad? So it's the Old Testament, but this is a future prophecy. He said it That's shall right. come to pass. So when did a nation go into slavery on slave ships? Come here, sis, real quick. Hey, sister, can you answer that question? Because she said, because our people got, they, they minds are indoctrinated in Christianity. When we come out of the Bible, they got a default rebuttal. Oh, that's the Old Testament. But read that, read the top of verse 15 again. Listen to what he's saying. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 15. Bring it out. But it shall come to pass. He said, but it shall come to pass. That means in the future, not right now. I'm telling you something now is going to happen later in the future. So, so we're going to just jump to some of these things, and you can tell me from your knowledge when these things came to pass. Because they didn't have, some of this stuff did not happen in the Bible time as we know it, in, the, in these captivity that's in the Bible. So listen, verse 68 real quick. Jump there right quick. Read what you got. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So he said you're going into Egypt with ships. He's not just talking about the landmass Egypt that we know today. 
The word Egypt has a definition behind it, a meaning. So let's see out. what Egypt means according to the Bible, not according to, according to our knowledge or what the white man taught us. Read that. This is the book of Exodus, chapter 20 and verse 2. Bring it on. I am the Lord thy God, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. So God called Egypt the house of bondage. So when you go back to Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, remember that, read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into bondage again. How? With ships. When did when did a people go into to bondage or captivity on ships, on slave ships? When did that happen? You don't know? So how did how did our people how did they how did they teach us our people came to this side of the world, to the Americas? How did we get here? They enslaved us. Read that one more time. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Into slavery again, into the house of bondage a second time. How? With ships. With ships. With ships. On cargo slave ships. That's right. So when we tell our people, hey, you are Israelite. This Bible is your heritage. And they say, oh, that happened, but it's in the Old Testament. That's not what God is saying. That is just going to happen one time. Jump to verse 46 right quick. Let's bring it out. Here. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. Come on. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder, and upon thy seed forever. No, just for the old time. And upon thy seed forever. No, just as long as Moses lived. And upon thy seed forever. He said forever. Generational curses if you don't keep these commandments. That's so when you bring right. this sign back, when, when read verse 68 again, this is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. On cargo slave ships, sister. So this is not just set for a certain dispensation of time. God said as long as the Israelites are breaking these commandments, these bad things will follow them in the earth. Slavery on slave ships. Right. You see these things that happened to our foremothers and forefathers? God said that would happen to the children of Israel if we was not keeping the commandments. And we're not keeping the commandments today, so that means these curses are still upon our people this very day. Two, th That's 20 right. and 20. These Bring curses are upon our people. Read. Finish verse 68 out. By the way whereof I spake unto thee, Thou shalt see it no more again. Moses said exactly how I'm telling you this in the book of Deuteronomy. In 2020, them curses going to be upon you if you ain't keeping these commandments. It's a future prophecy. He was right. talking about all times. Remember, we jumped to verse 46. He said, and upon your seed forever. So when you have kids, they're going to be born into these generational curses. They cannot escape it. No matter how much money you got, no matter where you move, God said everywhere on the earth, these curses going to be upon the so-called blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. And we say so-called because you really an Israelite according to the Bible. That's right. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies. And God said, once you get off them slave ships, there, wherever you got off that slave ship, there, 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 there. You going to be sold to who? You shall be sold unto your enemies. No, your friends. You shall be sold unto your enemies. Come on. For bond men and bond women. God said you're going to get off them slave ships, sis and be sold to some people that hate you, your enemy. And when you get off them slave ships, you're gonna be a slave man and a slave woman. Look at that sign. Ain't that not what went on when we got off those slave ships in America? Look at this, look at this sign. To be sold as cargo, Negroes, $1,200 to $1,250 to $1 for Negroes. This what happened to our people. This what happened to our people. It happened in the Bible too. Uh, give, right. give me that in Maccabees. Bring it out. What's that? First Maccabees, uh, second Maccabees chapter 8. Second Maccabees chapter 8. Bring it out. So we're going to show you certain stuff happening in the Bible, but it happened again. And what we would think is outside of Bible time, but this is Bible time as well. Because God prophesied the end of the world from the beginning. So everything we do, every day we live, is in this book. We just lost that understanding because our enemies put us in captivity. So they start to teach us white man Jesus. They start to teach us, oh, that's just the Old Testament. Bring it up. But all God's words are living. They are profitable for reproof, for instruction, for correction. That's right. Yeah, eight, I think 10. 
Yeah, read that. So why we gonna we're going into this? This the Greek captivity. They took this out of the Bible. It's the Greek history. It's gonna show you this man named Nicanor, a Greek. He was selling us to the Romans. Same thing we just read on that sign. Same thing we just read out of Deuteronomy 28. So now you can correlate it. We were sold in America and we were sold in Greece also. The Bring white man was selling us throughout history. So you can understand these curses are generational. It's not just for a certain dispensation of time. Read. This is the book of 2 Maccabees, chapter 8 and verse 10. Bring it out. So Nicanor undertook to, much, to make so much money of the captive Jews. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Of the captive Jews. Not Negroes, not African Americans, the captive Jews. Because that's, that, uh, if you a so called African American, I'm uh, if your father so called African American, so called white, so you really a Jew. You, you, really, you really an Israelite from the tribe of Jews. So these, when, when you read about, so, so when you read about Nicanor taking the captive Jews, the Jews captives, you gotta go, sis? Okay, the website is on the back of the flyer. Hey, so listen to this, brother. We're going into the curses and showing they happen more than once. Because the sister walked by, she went into Oprah Beauty Supply, and she said that's just for the Old Testament. But these curses follow our people as long as we're not keeping the commandments of God. Read that. So Nicanor undertook to, to make so much money of the captive Jews as should defray the tribute of 2,000 talents, which the king was to pay to the Romans. So, the king owed the Romans $2,000. $2, so the Greeks and the Romans, they both so-called white people. He owed the, he owed the Roman king $2,000. So listen to what, so listen, listen how he tried to uh, pay that debt. Three. Verse 11, wherefore immediately he sent to the cities upon the sea coast, proclaiming a sale of the captive Jews. He did what? Proclaiming a sale of the captive Jews. So he took the captive Jews and said, I'm going to sell them for that, for my debt to pay off the Roman king. I owe him $2,000. I'm going to sell Negroes the same way they sold us on auction blocks in America. Bring you see up. that? The same way. It's the same thing. So go so go back to Deuteronomy 28. Because God said these are the... God said these are the uh, signs to tell who the Israelites is in the last day. Read 20, 28 and 46. Listen to this. So we just correlated history in America to history in the Greek captivity. That we were being sold for a ransom. They was the, the white man in America, the white man in Rome. They were selling us. Read. This is the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 46. Come on, read up. And they shall be upon thee for a sign and for a wonder and upon thy seed forever. These curses gonna be upon you so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans forever, as long as you're not keeping the commandments of God. And when Christ come, that time is gonna be up. That's right. That's so while right. today is today, you better repent and start keeping God's commandments. That's right. We used to scream black power while Haram was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling These are how our men repented at heart The scriptures is proof IUIC, we deliver the truth